welcome to my channel. My name is Amy, I'm a UK based rat enthusiast and owner and I've decided to start a YouTube channel in order to share my experiences as a rat owner and also to join the ranks of other ratty content creators to help destigmatize the reputations that rats have. I currently have three rats, Darwin, Moose and Gus. I thought I'd start off by reviewing my rat's current cage, the Blenheim Extra Tall by Little Friends. Um, the reason to do this is because I wish that there'd been a video review available for it before I purchased it. Um, there are some really, really good points to this cage, but also some really big negatives that I feel would have been useful to know before I bought it. This cage retails in the UK for £169.99. I got mine online from Little Pet Warehouse. The size dimensions are 79cm by 140cm by 52cm. Going by the Fancy Rats Forum cage calculator means this cage can hold up to 8 rats. Personally, I wouldn't put any more than 5 or 6 in here, just as you should aim to give your rats as much space as possible. I actually really like the size of this cage. I think that's one of its biggest positive points. I actually have plans to upgrade my cage to the SRS95 once I move house later this year but those cages just aren't practical for the house that I'm living in now. The accessories this cage comes with are lots of plastic levels and ladders which I would recommend you take out to give more space to fill with toys, ropes, hammocks, bridges etc. The levels are useful to keep as you can section off the cage by using them three in a row. It also comes with a small bowl which is tiny and not really useful for anything so mine went straight in the bin. The Blenheim has three large doors that makes taking things in and out to clean fairly painless and actually the only negative to how big the doors are is that sometimes I find it hard to attach things across the cage as the doors are in the way. I do like the pin door locks too. There are three metal bars attached to keychains that slot into holders to keep the doors in place. My rats haven't managed to escape yet so I think that's a good thing. This cage is also on wheels so it can be manoeuvred around without too much hassle. The last on my list of positives is that I think this cage looks nice. It's easy to clean and wipe down and I've had it for over two years and it's not rusted at all. It's also not too heavy so it's easy to push around. And now some negatives. The cage needs modification to be suitable for housing rats which may put people off buying. You're not just paying for the cage but you also need to pay for the extra items to make it suitable which is a hassle when you're already paying a fair bit of money. The first issue with this cage is that the bar spacing is too wide and sparse. The bar spacing is 2.5 centimeters wide so kittens or even adult does will likely be able to escape from this cage. Also because because the spacing is sparse, it can be hard to find bars to clip cage accessories onto when you're decorating the inside of the cage. Best way to fix both of these issues is to cover the entire outside of the cage with mesh or chicken wire, which is what I've done. The chicken wire means that smaller rats can't escape and also gives me much more purchase for my clips when I decorate. I didn't have a problem with doing this, although wrapping the cage, securing with cable ties, making sure there's no sharp edges is all quite time consuming and understandably something that not everybody will want to consider doing. The other major downside to this cage is that the floor is wire which is completely unsuitable for rats. It comes with a pull out wire tray and a plastic tray to catch the debris underneath that. When assembling this cage you need to put the wire tray underneath supporting the plastic tray over the top so that they're walking on the plastic not on the wire. This is okay as a short term solution but this base still isn't ideal for rats. Chewers may be able to escape if they realise they can chew through the plastic and also it's far too too shallow to allow for any decent amount of substrate. As well as swapping out the plastic and wire trays around, you'll also then need to put a larger storage tub on top or a custom Perspex base to give you a much deeper base. Again, this isn't too expensive. I think my custom Perspex base panels cost about £40, but the costs do rack up once you've paid for the cage and the chicken wire or mesh and the Perspex base and then spent all of the time putting it all together. So to summarise, this cage is not very suitable without modification, but with a little bit of TLC, time and money, this can be a really, really brilliant cage, especially for the price and the size and quality that you get for that price. That's it from us. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, pop them below in the comments. Bye.